Hey guys, this is Chitrang Dixit and welcome to my new series of game development and Python programming. So, to develop games with Python, we'll be using the simple Python to make some basic games and after that we'll be using Pygame library to make games using Python programming. So, as you know about Python programming, as this tutorial expects you to know about the basics of Python programming, how looping and conditional statements works, what are some basic modules in Python that we can we are going to use and how to make use of them, how Python program structure works, what kinds of programming paradigms are there in Python programming. So this all you should know prior to execute these tutorials. So let me show you Pygame module of Python programming. So just type over on your browser Pygame. So here's the official site of Pygame, pygame.org. And here's Pygame site. So at Pygame site, you can find lots of challenges, lots of APIs, lots of sample games and Pygame module as well. So at the download section, you can get the Pygame module. So Pygame module can be installed in Windows. So for Windows users, they just need to download the MSI or .exe files and after downloading this msi.exe file they just need to run this and as soon as the installer finished up the pygame module would get installed in your python programming for ubuntu or uh, unix or some mac users there's a bit different approach to install this pygame module so you can have a look at my video how to install modules in python programming if you do not know how to install the module and if you already know how to install module in python programming that's fine so let's see some of the games some of the basic games and stuff so just like i have this some Tathom's puzzles game name untangle so here's the game name untangle here's the game name untangle so in this game as you can see this is a GUI Oops, it's not so it's not working perfectly. But this is the GUI and the objects that I'm moving are the foregrounds and the grey box is the background. Each object that is movable or that works in our animation is known as a sprite and there's a condition in the game that I need to make the arrows or make the directions or make the connections pretty much clear so that no lines should overlap over each other so when I would make it like this I have finished up the game I have successfully completed the task defined in this game so this is how in game development we'll be using a background foreground and some moving or working objects named as a sprite over on them so in the next video we'll be developing the very first game using the simple python programming so hope you've liked this video of the very first introduction of game development in python programming please subscribe my channel 
and watch out for the new videos coming on python programming and game development thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like button